Hello everybody and welcome back. I have a build that I want to go over today. I have a character build um, inspired by one of my favorite franchises. Uh, uh, it recently just put its third season on Netflix. Uh, I'm trying to just be careful of the words that I use uh, because of trademarking and things like that. But this is a Forge Master build. I'm very excited uh, to play it and to show it off so let's get into it these uh i actually have uh, several pairs of clothing uh for this build because nothing is exactly suitable uh based on even uh, the mods and things that i was able to get my hands on so uh, what he's wearing now is what i call his traveling robe uh as exhibited in in uh, season three uh as similar as i could get it is the psychic robes with a mage hood type uh, and then uh, what you saw before was his uh, general clothing which I, I throw on when I enter towns and things like that um, but uh, so he has a forge blade uh, just like in the show uh, I made sure to give him the most decorative blade that I can find uh, he is never alone so I always have uh, conjurations by his side or uh, his companion, which is essentially Lydia. But uh, what I did was I put her in some Falmer armor and a shell bug helmet, and she doesn't look human. So uh, as far as roleplay goes, I can still roleplay that she is uh, a creature that he has pulled up from the depths of hell. Um, now, uh, one of the, the fun things that you will need is a lot of soul gems. Uh, because in lieu of being able to turn the the enemies into uh, devil creatures, uh, I just have him using the Conjuration Soul Trap uh, to steal their souls. Uh, so he then uses those to enchant uh, further gear and weapons and things like that, or he just sells them because, my God, is he going to end up with a lot of soul gems. Um, I'm actually still very... <laughs> early in this playthrough uh, so there are lots of locations that I haven't unlocked yet lots of quests that I haven't done uh, his levels are still not you know great for some of his stuff uh, but I'm really having fun playing it uh, his motivation is relatively similar to what you may have seen if you've seen the uh, anime adaptation um, he is trying to build a better place uh, as he was directed um, so he is going to be collecting uh, gold and jewels and, and jewelry he is going to be getting the houses uh, I'm trying to find a suitable player home mod for him but nothing is really uh, you know attracting me so I have not found a player home mod um, now as far as mods for this build that I have used uh, he is a red guard to go along with the Muslim Forge Master, um, and unfortunately, even with a better presets uh, mod from IA92, I believe, and uh, I did use the Amazing Race Tweaks for Red Guard, which gives him some pretty, pretty crazy skills. It enhances his uh, smithing, his conjuration. Uh, so those are really great things. It allows him to create uh, unique weapons uh, as well. They're not available any other way in the game. Um, so his uh, skills that we're using definitely destruction uh, because while his primary weapon is one-handed uh, he, he does spam magic because he is a magical type user uh, conjuration of course is in lieu of the ability to actually turn creatures into demons uh, so we're going to get that whole tree so we can have uh, more than one summoned at a time uh, as well as bound weapons and things like that, which is another amazing race tweak. Bound weapons, uh, like, give you additional uh, s experience. So I'm going for quiet casting with illusion, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm going through that. Uh, alchemy, of course, he has to have alchemy. Um, speech is a big part. It's even in his uh, armor um, because, <laughs> thankfully, um, he will kill you if you're rude. Uh, and right here while we're in the one-handed tree I want to say that I did not give him Savage Strike 
because I don't want him cutting the heads off. That, that seems against his character uh, because he wants to convert them. He wants to change them. He wants their souls. He wants them intact for his magic. So uh, we will fill out the smithing tree as well. Um, we're getting alteration for the additional magic resistances and uh, the mage armor because primarily when he's wearing his robe, he doesn't, his, his robe is not armor. Um, however, his uh, vampire armor is actual armor, which is a little bit backwards, but whatever. So uh, I'll eventually get him the necromage perk, I think, uh, because part of my roleplay motivation is uh, he loves killing the undead um, because they can't be of any use to him. So, um, other mods I've used for this is uh, enchantment mods that allow me to put four enchantments onto an item, um, as well as break down uh, any item in the game. Uh, it also reorganizes the enchantment tree, making it more direct to get the perks that you really want for someone uh, for a build like this, which was really great. Um, he does have, like I said, uh, Mayroon's razor in his hand. Uh, but it's actually not the the in-game Mayroon Fraser, it's just a skin uh, because it looks pretty cool and I think it's pretty much the most unique dagger in the game, so uh, we went with that, thankfully. Uh, and again, we are going to use Conjuration uh, every chance we get and uh, increase that as well as our other Dragonborn skills uh, that we acquire on the way. So this is my forge master build i did have a great time doing it uh like i said he's uh he's all about gathering uh prestige uh and thankfully thankfully if you don't have some of the mods that i have installed here like uh the uh, better conversations for npcs um or uh the better guard dialogue which is super important if you don't have the better guard dialogue uh, if you're playing roleplay for this character and, uh, you know, the guards are notoriously rude, so I could easily imagine him, um, getting bounties and lots of holds and, and having to fend off lots of, uh, local guards and things like that. Uh, I thankfully have not yet had to really worry about that, uh, but who knows what's going to happen from this point forward. I'm still playing, still enjoying. Uh, and uh, as far as uh, standing stones and things like that, um, I, I have him with the lover, no, the lady stone, or no, the mage stone, sorry, <laughs> mage stone just to level up his mage skills better. Uh, I did go ahead and do the, uh, the quest to achieve the, Aetherius, the ethereal crown. Um, I put the, the power in it to uh, raise the dead. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I tried to use it for this video, but these these uh, corrupted dead do not revive uh, through that that special power. So he does have the ethereal crown. If you want to play differently, you can get the ethereal crown and just throw the lover stone in it, um, and the lover stone will give you an additional fifteen percent in addition to the mage stone. Uh, and as long as you take it off before you go to sleep and put it back on when you wake up. Uh, it won't have any problem. You'll be getting 35% increased experience um, just from, from having the ethereal crown and uh, the regular. If you don't want to do it that way and uh, you want to, what I normally do in a regular less modded playthrough is I end up with the, uh, the Lord Stone and the Lady Stone um, so that I get the health and stamina regen that I like uh, when I do a playthrough. Uh, as well as the damage absorption, uh, magic absorption ability. Um, so, uh, also as far as uh, he, he, I like to walk. I like to run through the game. I like the uh, the encounters that happen. Uh, so generally, I'll take the carriages or we'll walk somewhere and things like that. But I do have summon mirage uh, as well. So if you have Arvac. Um, you can use that, which uh, is true to character, so you can use a horse uh, if you have a, uh, a summonable horse, or like I said, Arvac. Um, that's certainly a fun way to get around, uh, but I always, uh, I do encourage people to, to make the rounds on foot and things like that whenever possible. 
Um, and with that, I'm going to wrap this up because otherwise I'm just going to be rambling and I can do that forever. So I'd like to thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you soon.